Folks, I'm Demonac, and it's Hearthstone Ranked time. I recorded a whole perfectly good video, and it didn't record my microphone, because it got reset by the XSplit update or something. I had to mess with it to get it back. Very frustrating. But I do did get down to a single-digit rank. Now, that's not like single-digit number of people. Eh? Like Even in rank 1, there could be many thousands of people. I don't know how many people are in the game in total. But, I am in the single-digit ranks for now. I'm on a winning streak. <laughs> Let's see if I can get any further. Still sticking with the rogue deck. I, I tried some of my other decks. My priest deck was getting its butt kicked in casual games, so that's not much help. Watch your back. Um... You are too expensive. The rest, the other two are pretty good starting hand cards. And something that kills minions. This, once again, fits my qualification of what is a decent starting hand. Decent starting hand for this deck. No more than one thing that costs four. Nothing that costs more than four. One thing that can kill minions. And some one or two cost minion. That's, that's pretty much what I want for a starting hand. So, oh, this is okay. Now, he's going to get his butt kicked. I could play more guys. I, the turn after, I could go Sergeant, then Ringleader for three minutes. So I think I'm going to stab her bubble. To prevent any silliness. But I'm going to hit him for two. My logic is that he might be able to like boost her by plus one, plus one. It's unlikely she's going to get so big that she can survive him. Uh, that's unpleasant, though. Damn it. Fortunately, we have a backup plan for this. It's called Eviscerate. Because... Get in there, fight, maggot. That triggers the combo, and he dies. Save my dagger. That guy is a tremendous threat to humanity. <laughs> he has to be stopped. It's funny they say threat to humanity in a match between a knight, uh, probably a blood elf and an orc. I was default to night elf because my rogue was a night elf, but yeah, she she has kind of pale hair. I can't even tell. Colorblind. Anyhow. We have a Leper Gnome. I can just stab him. So my choice is I could give this guy plus two and get out the Ringleader with the, with the boost. But I think I'm just going to stab this. Hit for two now that I have board control. And of course, Yeti. Yeti is pretty solid. It's it's so tough that one being five hit points instead of four makes such a big difference. It's hard because it feels like I should be using the Ogre Magi instead. Four four and plus one spell damage. It would boost my Fan of Knives and my Eviscerates. Those are the only cards, but boosting Fan of Knives is important. Uh, I don't know. Now. If I cold blood him, then using the battle axe to get rid of him would be extremely costly. This seems like I'm going to be dumping most of my hand, but if I, I give him plus two temporarily with this, give him plus four permanently, that's two mana, I can still make the ringleader and have a giant army out there. So I'd have one giant monster and one giant army. And of course I'm going to hit my opponent for a lot of damage, so I'm going to try it. See how it goes. Because he can trade these two to kill him, but he's going to take a lot of damage in the process and use them both up. A Whirlwind would kill two of these guys, and if he had Whirlwind Execute, then he'd be in pretty good shape. I'm inclined to think if he had Whirlwind Execute that he'd be doing it quickly, but some every time I say that, 
It turns out I'm wrong, and they were just thinking about it for a while. Whirlwind Execute would be the thing to do. Oh, if you could do that and then Whirlwind Execute, that would be friggin' brutal. Okay, what else are you doing with your turn now? Just armor? Oh, it's gonna get interesting. I'm gonna have to trade guys to kill him. I can't allow him to be alive. Uh, it only takes two guys to kill him, actually, so I can do that and then play the Azure Drake. That seems decent. Sever my wrath! <laughs> Yeah, you can stop triggering that. On this one, there's no point in triggering the ability. It's silly. Whatever. It does mean that I'm not gaining any ground. I'm hitting for the same number of hit points that he can gain from his armor every turn. But, I also have board control and an Azure Drake. And a lot more hit points than he has. I've gotten rid of both of these guys, which is not nothing, because they're obnoxious. Ow. Okay, this is not very good, actually. Because I could do this but it's a to draw a card, but it's a waste, and I'll probably regret it. I could do this, but then if he plays a weapon, I'll regret it. So, this is actually pretty poor. I think I'm going to do the Fan of Knives to draw a card. If we got my Yeti, it'd be ideal. Nope. Okay. Not great. Although I'm sure the assassinate will come in handy right about now. Just I'm not gaining any ground. I need to finish him. Try this. Oh, that's horrible. That's not great either. There's the Yeti I needed last turn. Why would if these two cards were switched in the order, it would have been so good. Bastard. So, if I'm playing him and him, it'll get rid of that weapon, although he'll probably play a much better weapon. But I'm thinking I'm going to backstab this guy and then front stab him. Because getting rid of him will make it harder to get rid of this and the Yeti. Here we go. He is gonna play a good weapon now though. Play a good weapon, kill this. If you played a good weapon, but then I drew a shadow step, I would be okay, right? Just like smash, and then shadow step this, and then play it again for free, it'd be all cool, but no, it's not what's going to happen. He's going to kill it, then he's going to play a big weapon, and I'm going to be messed up. Or Mortal Strike. Ouch. I am not making progress here. Ah. Oh. Okay, that's really annoying, because that's not even helpful. Here just, we just to go. taunt me because I semi-called for it. I need to draw my stuff that can kill him. I'm sure not getting it. I need Argent Commanders. And there's the weapon I called for, which is of course not useful at... Because... Oh man, if he has another Mortal Strike in his hand, he's planning on killing me next turn. I can't believe I'm going to lose this. I don't think that's good enough. I think he has the other mortal strike. I think I'm just dead. Here we that's only helpful if he does not have another 4 damage in his hand. Hero Strike, Mortal Strike, I'm probably just dead. Could even be a Kokron Elite. Like, it's, it's, there are a million things you could have to do the extra four damage to kill me. Stupid Arcanine Reaper. I was so close! <sighs> Frustration. Oh, he didn't squelch him either. 
Once again, if you've been watching a lot of my videos, you know I criticize warriors a lot. That's in the arena. An actual constructed warrior is super dangerous. It's just that they need a lot of, like, the basic warrior cards that every warrior has, and they need a lot of the, like, rare warrior cards to make it work, and it's you're not going to get anything close to that in the arena. So the fact that they have the weakest ability doesn't work out well. So that's a slightly smaller weapon, but it is going to kill through my junk pretty quick. So many options. So we'll play him first. Yeah. This guy's toast. This is our town, scrub. Yeah, beat it. I could either do two damage to him or get another two one with my shadow step, or I could save it for a better thing. I think I'm going to save it for something better, honestly. If either of these two guys don't die, then I can still use it. But I'd really rather hit him for eight or twelve with an Argent Commander or a Leroy. I have 12 cards left. Three of them are large charge creatures, which I could shadow step to kill him in one turn. Uh oh. He's trying to burn me down. Oh, okay, do I have 9 damage? I've got 7, 8, 9. Yeah, it's, it's not even close. Hey, lights out. This guy's toast. So that was very close. He probably had another two cards in his deck that could have allowed me to kill could have allowed him to kill me two turns ago. Sorry, another three cards with the Kokron, because he'd he played one Kokron, one Mortal Strike, and one Heroic Strike. So the if he had two each of those cards, that's three more things in his fifteen cards that could have killed me. On the other hand, I had a whole lot of cards in there that could have helped me finish him. Oh man. Gets tense. So we're both getting screwed on our like random chances there to some degree is what it feels like. I'm just not I I think I was getting screwed as much as he was, and just worked out in my favor. But could be wrong. Expensive, expensive. Give me two things that are cheaper. Yay! Rogue Mirror Mash. I like those so much. I understand they can be good, but I don't like them so much. Uh, it is going to get, like, value out of my killing my deckhand, though. In fact, it's not even, because she's just going to make a dagger and kill him. I'm wondering if I should save... It's only one damage, why would I... Yeah, no. Although my SI7 agent can't just kill her, he can only pop her bubble. And now he's got to use it on that. But it's only one damage, so it's like, what am I stressing about? Okay. Ha! This guy's toast. So far, so fine. Next turn, I could knife juggler deckhand, although I'd have no charge on the deckhand. Dot. I don't think I want to do that. I think I Here we go. play it slower, try and get the card advantage here more. Because if she uses the the wicked knife to kill him, she could have been using the wicked knife to kill a knife juggler, who would be more annoying. If she doesn't kill him, which I rate as about zero chance, but she might want to just do more damage to me and think she can raise me. 
You're gonna... What? Why would you... I, okay, I guess she needed something to trigger the combo for this, and she said to do that. Plus, it, she doesn't take the damage from hitting him, but... Wow. Really weird. Ah, Shadow Step. Sneaky. This is our time. Well, if I could draw my Defias, that would be way better. Nope. Would have been awesome. <sighs> So I can't do nearly as well. I could play Knife Juggler and then Knife Juggler do one random damage, which might hit her or it might hit him, either which is not very good. I could just play this instead. I'll take a bunch of damage, but I'll be a little bit set up for later. And of course I can stab one of these guys, which I will do. Here we go. Yeah. I think I'll save the Knife Jugglers. Because they're just gonna they're gonna die for not much. I mean, I could have played knife juggler, knife juggler, one random damage, shadow step, knife juggler. Then I'm using a shadow step just for one random damage. Could be crap. I mean, it could work out perfectly, and even then, it so wouldn't be that great. I have a lot more options now. What is she gonna do? Oh, that's not very helpful. She can't make a dagger though, so she's got to leave him alive or use this guy. Going for the beatdown, pretty reasonable under the circumstances. Yeti, you would have been good last turn too. Okay, this is just not working out well for me, honestly. I might want to just eviscerate him. So many options. Knife juggler, eviscerate, uh, kill that, and then stab this guy. That's that's not a bad turn. No, I can't do those and that. That's my problem. This, of course, doesn't trigger this. Mm. I could burn the shadow step just to trigger the eviscerate. I don't like that particularly. I'm going to end up losing a knife juggler, which is not the end of the world. Yeah, okay. Put the grapple on your head! I don't know. I'm not getting enough card advantage to make up for the amount of extra hit points that she has right now. That's what it feels like. She can either hit me for two and then be even further ahead on the hit points, or just trade for this guy. Does she have another cold blood? Why, why would she do the... Un oh, okay. No, that makes a lot of sense. It's not good, though. I am at great risk. I have more cards, but they're, I can't I can't spend all my cards in an efficient manner. I kind of need the knife juggler to hit him, which is a really stupid thing to say and position to be in. There's not much I can do about it. I could make a dagger and hit him, but then I take the four anyway. Oh man, this is bad. Okay, but I'm gonna get hit for seven, eight. I'm probably just dead next turn anyhow. Erg. I can't even afford to assassinate and stab him. No, I just it's just not working out well enough for me this game. There are too many defias on the other side, not enough defias on this side. I can't even afford to play him, play that, and then shadow step him and play him again. Like, it makes it too cheaper, but I won't have the mana left. It's really not fortunate. Put the apple on your head! One in three chance. No. Yeah. 
I'm pro probably just dead. And even if I'm not, I'm going to be so low. It's not like I'm going to do 25 damage in one turn. Even if she ignores all my forces. This rate? Yeah. Game over. Damn it! I just could not quite get back the momentum. And both knife jugglers, which is great, but I wasn't getting that. They the defy us to out of time. And against normal enemies, it would have been good enough. But because she had her defy us, she had that much more meat out there. It meant that I was playing bad odds every time if I tried to go for my knife juggler plays. So, Arr, here goes my winning streak. That 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 hurt. When when you're on the winning streak, that one loss costs you a lot of stars, basically. To say I win the next two games, I would have been like halfway through the next rank almost. Whereas now, if I win the next two games, I'm, I'm just gonna get back to like being one game away from filling up my stars. Valera versus Jaina. Mage ranked better than me. That's not good. Watch back. Cold blood in the starting hand. I don't like. Can you give me something more expensive? Of course it is. Damn you. <sighs> uh, I mean, the fact that I'm not getting all the 2-1 guys is not the end of the world. They don't tend to work out very well against the mage, and the two ones I do have are pretty good later in the game. That's horrible, though. Man and Worm is so gross. That's the other thing against the rogues. The 3-2 nature of the knife juggler means that it loses so badly to enemy Defias. That's two guys for one card. They can each kill him easily. Yes. Um, okay. I would, it would have been nice if... No, actually, even if one, if one had gone to him, it wouldn't have been better. So This hurts a lot. I spent a lot of cards to get rid of my knife juggler, sort of, but I took all that damage, so it wasn't like it was a waste, and now I'm going to keep taking more damage. Really bad. I don't even know if I want to do the one damage to her. I guess I might as well, because I'm going to be so low in hit points, I'm not going to want to be hitting minions with it anyway. Wow, did I not have the right hand for dealing with that start. It there. Are, if you just set up your mage deck so you have all the good start options, though, Chances are you're going to get a pretty darn good start. Uh, using Leroy to kill that stuff doesn't seem worth it, although it almost might be. But now I'm going to try and get some Yeti action here. At this point, though, she's so far ahead, she can probably just keep beating me down and ignore my forces. One spell would make this big enough to kill the Yeti. Oh, and the Frostbolt will stop him from attacking, too. Yeah, she can just keep beating me down. She doesn't even need to finish him off. Yep. There's the correct play. Yep. So, doomed. I'm so doomed I might have to assassinate a three-toughness creature. Although, I could Shadow Step the Yeti. He's only got one health anyway, and he can't attack. I could Shadow Step the Yeti, replay him for two. I can play the Knife Juggler and do that, but I'm probably dead next turn. I want to use the Shadow Step for this, because... My only chances of winning are going to involve shadow stepping one of these guys. Who were notably, noticeably absent in the last couple of games. I'm, I'm just dead, though. Spend two mana to kill him almost no matter what's in her hand, unless she had me, unless she had lethal damage. Just do that. Oh, she's going to draw more cards, so she has, there's even less chance that I can somehow squeak by this. And, He's a good counter to this, which would otherwise be great. Now I don't even want to go duh, duh, like I could have. 
so many options now. This is so bad. I think I'm going to waste an Argent Commander's bubble to kill that thing. Yeah. So screwed anyway. Funny thing is, six mana in these two cards, I can do 12 damage. So the hit point totals are closer than it looks, but it's not. I'm not going to get there. Killing my opponent is not an issue at this point. I just have to try and stay alive, because I can't get any close to that. Like, I can hit for 4 plus 12, 16 damage. Yay, what good does that do me? I wish I had a fan of knives to go with my Leroy, that would be pretty awesome. Hmm. So many options. Shut up. Oh man. This is too it's not gonna work. Sure, that was not a good use of anything. Now it only takes four damage, three damage worth of spells to kill me, so Frostbolt could do it pretty much. Just gonna try and draw more cards. Because you know she doesn't need to kill me this turn. She can annihilate most of my forces with garbage. Alright, well now that that guy's gone, I can do a bunch of tricks with these guys and just see what I can do. It doesn't really matter, though. Put this apple on your head. Oh, I miscounted him. I'm only down to six because she didn't hit me with everything, so... Yeah, let's see. Ha! <laughs> this guy's toast. You looking at me? If I returned him and then played him again, I would get two guys, but they wouldn't actually kill that. Or it's supremely unlikely, so I'm better off doing this one. Ha, this guy's toast. And I'm not going to play the Acid Ooze, because she hasn't used... I haven't forced her to use any AoEs yet, I've been so far behind. Doesn't matter though, she's just looking for a fireball. Or in two turns a pyro. So, whatever. Well, that's not particularly helpful either. I don't have silence in here, so that's two creatures for the price of one. Can kill one of them with this. Get in there, fight, maggot! Don't mess with that stuff. Okay, well now I'm going to try and see if I can get one more damage on him and kill him with the Knife Juggler. Ooh. I can actually do it. Uh, might as well play this now, too. I'm kind of all in. So I'm not going to have that many forces left after. Shoot her! Okay, whatever. Hey! This guy can almost do it, but he can't attack yet. Hey! Catch! The eyes, the earth, hey, lights out. Oh. Here we go. All this work for nothing because 
She's going to kill me very soon. She's going to keep drawing cards until she gets the right one, and I am definitely not killing her that fast. And, of course, AoEs. It's just buying her more time. Um, that is one of the better cards I could have drawn, I guess. She has six cards in her hand. Even if she can't kill me, that'll probably kill me. And that makes it so that I can't do anything. Yeah. Game had been over for a while. It was over since about turn three, virtually. Just such a crazy mage start on me. Uh, come on. I have a losing streak here. You notice the winning streak of will get you farther than the losing streak of the same length, which is something I talked about a bunch in the video where it doesn't have my mic. But yeah, if you win three games, lose. Th if you well, if you go win four games, lose four games. Win four games, lose four games. If you just keep doing that, you're going to keep going up in the rank in a very frustrating manner. You won't be going up by much, but the winning streak means that winning is more valuable than losing is painful. See, now I wish I could check if that was the same rogue that I played before. It probably isn't. Presumably lots of people here. We don't need that. Shadow Step. It works well with him, but I'd rather have something else in my starting hand. I mean, I want to get more minions, and I'm going to keep the Eviscerate over the Shadow Step. Uh, I don't want both Eviscerates in my starting hand either. I'm very picky. You do everything you can to make it so the deck will work no matter what you get, but ultimately it makes a huge difference what combination of stuff you get. Not useful yet. So if you play him, he'll just get his butt kicked. I'm wondering if I should save him to trigger off these other things. I'm thinking I should. Instead of giving her the free card advantage for two damage. Not, not even going to use it on me. She, just, she wants that for the killing minions. So I could coin do him. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to start stabbing. Uh, she must have a poison, which is why she would want to save all the uses. Or not. Doesn't have anything cheap in her hand, which is weird and kind of disturbing for later since I'm not. If I had a good rush start, I would be thrilled, but I don't. I'm doing nothing mostly. I do want to save a use of my dagger because I don't know when I'm going to be able to afford it again if now that I start having, like, stuff to play. You have so many cards, you must have a bunch of minions in there. This guy's toast. No combo for him. Interesting. So, I could spend an eviscerate to kill that guy. So many options. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to knife juggler, coin SI7 him. If I get lucky, the Knife Juggler will kill him. If I don't, I'll just take three damage and stab him. And that's a pretty good army, and it preserves this thing. So I like that plan. Put this apple on your head! Because I could be using him to kill it or a combo eviscerate, but this seems like the most efficient route. This is costing me the coin mostly. Everything else I've spent is being used very well. Ha, this guy's toast. 50 50 chance? No. That's Here we go. But. I'm not going to complain, because that is such a trivial coin flip compared to some of the random junk that is going to come up in the game usually. That one was not an important place to win the coin flip. So if I had a bad, if I got the best deal if the coin, if the if it was a collection of like rolls where I was going to lose a certain number of coin flips and win a certain number of coin flips, that's one of the one I would like to lose. 
course, that has nothing to do with how pr probability actually works. And my opponent is playing a crazy zero, crazy like Gadgetan auctioneer combo deck to draw her whole deck, which is a little disturbing, but okay. That's why she wasn't doing anything early. She, her hand is full of this stuff. It is. However, she did it. She's trying to go off with zero mana. I mean, she doesn't have the one mana to, or well, she didn't. She didn't use the prep. Choose to use preparation for it to do the. Uh, she probably just didn't get the right card. Because there's the card that gives all your minions stealth conceal. I think it is. That's what she wanted. She didn't draw it. Which means that I can just kill him and not have to worry too much about this stuff. Although she drew a billion cards, and that's a worry. But the thing is, hey, all the down. cards that she played doing the combo weren't worth very much, so she didn't gain as much out of it as she could have. If she could have just concealed him instead of shiving this guy for one, then it would have been rough. You have poison for that? No? Okay. Poison on this thing is sick, because it, it has four uses of five damage. It's not needed to kill my minions. Okay, now I can start hitting you with Argent Commanders and stuff, so that seems pretty good. The, the problem with her stuff is, I, this may not be a problem with her deck, it may have just been a bad draw, but she had all that crazy looking combo, but she hasn't done that much to actually slow me down. And that's where it becomes really bad, because I still have all these things to kill her stuff with, and to, if she doesn't put out enough stuff, I can do a horrendous amount of damage to her. So you backstab his bubble. She's got to be running out of zero-cost cards at this point. She's two backstabs, both preparations. Got a, she's got another shiv in there. It costs two, but it draws cards. She killed that thing. Okay, step one. Do I have lethal damage? I can hit her for two, three, four, five, six. can use one of them again. Seven, eight, nine. That is not lethal damage. You don't usually want to go off and just like reduce someone to low. You want to actually be killing them, so that's no good. I don't know how many big things she has in here. I mean, if she has any, she's got a good chance to have them in her hand. I'm wondering about just using the assassinate on this, though, because she's so low I might be able to get her killed off soon. I think I'm going to take the risk and just assassinate that. You need to deploy some damage. You know what, if I had... I obviously miscalculated something. Because if I shadow-stepped him again... I, I did have lethal damage, didn't I? What was I doing? Because if I shadow-stepped him and then played him again, that would be another two, and then I could have eviscerated for four. I miscounted horribly somewhere there. Damn, stupid. I don't know what that is. She was a twelve, and I had two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight... 12 damage. What was I thinking? Now I might lose because I don't know how I miscounted. I'm going to have to check the recording of what the hell I was doing. So I kind of need one of these guys to survive now. Although I guess if she were to hit one of them, then she would take the 2 damage from that, so that would be okay. But she didn't. Oh, okay. She left them alive. It's fine. So I messed that up horribly, but it doesn't matter because... I have tried very hard to get my deck down to the point where all the cards are useful at almost every step of the game. 
And I think that's what helped me there, because she was spending a lot of effort on her combo stuff, and that meant a lot of her cards are less powerful out of the context of having one of those guys. I think she probably just got screwed also by not drawing a conceal. If she had drawn a conceal, she had two chances. She sort of went off twice. She just needed to get a conceal either of those times, and she could have stealthed her guy. I wouldn't have been able to kill him, and then she could have gone on drawing millions of cards the next turn as well. So, I guess the, the counter-argument is that if that's the case, she should have maybe saved the second one until she could get a conceal and not done it first. But if you do that, you if that's her whole deck, if that's like most of how she does things, then hold not playing without that one card those could be your two conceals could be in the last five cards of your deck and if you just if you're waiting for that to go off it won't go off right so you've got to make a gamble okay against a paladin totally play him first turn especially since I don't have anything in my hand to support him The Argent Squire would be annoying now. No Argent Squire. Okay. Um, I don't have a combo for him. I'm not going to play him naked. I think I'm just going to press this. If I can draw something one or zero cost next turn, or wait one turn longer, eviscerate, and then do this. I don't know. Reporting for duty. If all he's doing is making tokens, I can keep stabbing him all day long. Here we go. So Consecrate's going to be coming. I might want him to rebuild after the Consecrate. I think I'm going to play the naked as I said. This guy's tough. He survives the Consecrate, and he can fight off uh, some of the things that my opponent might play for three mana. Of course, he has a coin. Hooray! Thing is bad. It has a negative impact on my everything. He did take a net one damage from that, which is okay. And of course, this guy is a pretty decent counter to it. But he can still kill this guy as uh, health neutral. Or he could Consecrate and then hit this, but then it's sort of a waste of the Consecrate, but maybe not, because it would get rid of this, but he would be taking some damage, because this thing has an attack higher than two. True Silver Champion, so good. He's got the gold one, it's a basic card, and he that means he's probably played a whole ton of games with Paladin. I haven't played my Paladin as much as some of the other classes, but I find usually the actual good basic cards, the ones that I like, are really high up in the levels before you actually get them. Okay, equality pyro combo, that's uh, pretty effective. I'm going to go naked SI7 again so I can get these guys to repopulate. Of course, he still has, he didn't have to use a consecrate for that. So that's pretty rough. I might play Paladin more if I got another equality. There's the Consecrate. Hooray! Ow. I'm ahead in life, but he has a lot more cards left than I do. He's getting way more efficiency. Plus, I don't have any more minions in my hand. I need to draw an Argent Commander now. Argent Commander now. Yeah. It works better when I, like, don't need it. Like that other game when I like mentioned Shadow Step and I got it even though the circumstance in which it would have been good no longer existed. Reporting for duty. I don't know. Nope. Uh okay, that, that's not bad. I can't play it and the Fan of Knives in the same turn, unfortunately. But I can backstab him away. That's pretty cool. Yeah.
Do I want to eviscerate my opponent for five? I think that would be presumptuous. Oh, I can't. I wanted to stab him and then make a new dagger. I don't want to do that, though. Do I waste the eviscerate so that there's no minion in play for him to buff? You know what? I'm going to do it. I don't know if that was smart, but... If he had a blessing of kings, he could ruin my day somewhat. Whereas, okay, well, at least it's more. At least it's costlier for him to get rid of the dragon, the drake this way. I have pretty good card advantage stuff, but so does he. That was a top deck. What a time to get Ragnaros! Exactly when I hit eight mana, and I had no other minions. And I can stab his only thing in play. Awesome. Now, he can respond with Tyrion Fordring. Which would be a little unpleasant. Although I could fan of knives away his uh, bubble. Which would help a little. Actually, no, I just assassinate him. Never mind. Oh, equality. Sorry, Ragnaros, you've been nerfed. Uh, yeah, you're not going to survive that. Just too bad. I much I much preferred the plan where he might have to use his sword to do that, but no, he's using his sword to get back some life, and he has really neutralized my life totals too. This is not so good. Here we go. Get in there, fight, I don't have lethal. I could hit him for four. Seven. He could be laying on hands at any point here, in which case I'm really going downhill. Lay on hands with Ragnaros in play would have been kind of dumb. Land hands now, he'd gain a huge advantage. Oh, and he has Moltens, too! He's a crazy Molten pal- He did both. I do not appreciate your bullshit, mister. I'm gonna have to assassinate that, and then I'm gonna be screwed when you get to reimportering. Despite my best efforts, you gained life over that turn. Where are my Argent Commanders? Twilight Drake. Double Twilight Drake. Awesome. Oh, yeah. I like how this guy's deck is entirely rares. Hey, I got an Argent Commander now that is not as good. Uh do this. So, I'm thinking of Fan of Knives to draw myself a card. It's going to hit all of these guys. It'll reduce the 4-7 to the point where I can kill it with 2 plus 4. I think we're going to try this, although I can't eviscerate and play the Argent Commander after this. So yeah, I get Argent Commander, use him and that, kill this guy and then not do much. Yeah, because I can't do this right after. Other ways, I could eviscerate this, hit it for two, oh, and then I hit this one for two, and then one, and can't kill it. Yeah. Okay. Not great. I guess maybe I shouldn't have used the Fan of Knives, but seven was pretty hard. There he is, now that I got rid of the Fan of Knives. I don't think I can't survive his weapon even. No, I am screwed. I just had a clog of stuff in my hand that wasn't right for dealing with this guy, and I would have needed to really draw, like, my best stuff to get rid of it, to get past this jerk. There's not much I could do. So many options. There's 
there's no way I can deal with him worth a damn. I will use my only assassinate. Seriously, Molten Lay on Hands is a ridiculous turn. <sighs> you have to craft those Molten Golems. They're so sick. Like, I could, I could hit him for his bubble. Then I'm, I'm going to take lethal damage anyway. It's actually just over. Hmm. Here we go. Uh, there's some here. Uh, Hoping to end the video on a win. I guess I should have stopped earlier. The winning is sure stopped. Yay! Yeah. One of the things about the rogue deck is I don't need quite as many like rares and epics as some of the other ones to be good. Some of the other classes have a lot of like class rares and epics. More than I think, more than I feel like I'm using from the rogue. And it would be good, but oh well. So here I am, back where I started. Fantastic! So we'll see if I can get any farther another time. Put the hammer down on that like button. And don't forget to subscribe to Demon Knight Games for more Hearthstone Arena and other gaming videos.